Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Sonia. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can investigate people during an Austin investigation. If you want a quick introduction to how people can be investigated for OSINT, I invite you to watch another video on our channel. You can find the link to it in the description box below. Now, I will demonstrate how you can investigate people based off various data points like name, email address, photograph, contact number, and handles. PQ is a people search engine based in the United States. Currently, our target is Melinda Gates. Let's perform a search for Melinda Gates in PQ. You can even restrict the search to specific states. If you know which state or city the target is based in, you can perform a search in the records belonging to that state. Let's take a look at the first result. This public record is based in Seattle. You can find links to public information in other websites and links to social media accounts and other websites associated with the target. Most people search engines are specific to a country. If you have any information about the target's past or current location, choose the appropriate search engine. Australia Lookup is a search engine for individuals based in Australia. This is a people search engine for individuals based in Germany. Here we have an email address. Let's use Hunter to verify if this email address is valid or not. It appears that this address is valid. Here the username is Melinda.Gates. Let's use Emailable to identify other possible email addresses with the same username. It appears that Melinda.Gates at Hotmail.com is valid and can receive emails. Melinda.Gates at gmail.com is valid too. You can also utilize search engines to identify web pages and documents containing this email address. You can enclose the search term within quotes to find all results containing this exact term. However, remember that if you are working with common names, validated email addresses may belong to another individual with the same name. Here, we have the photograph of another target. Let's perform a search on PimEyes, which is a face search engine, to identify all the web pages that contain this photograph. It appears that this image appears in multiple websites. You can even find web pages that use similar images. You can also perform a reverse search using search engines like Google. Here, we can see that Google has identified other similar-looking individuals. PimEyes is more powerful when performing face searches. Try it out. Now, you have been given a handle to collect open source intelligence about. You have been told that this target works in IT. What's My Name to App is a tool that can identify websites where a specific handle has been used. The websites can belong to any or all of the categories listed here. I have performed the search already with the handle. Let's take a look at some of these results. From the hacker rank profile, we can see the target's handle and a name. This could be the target's real name. The target is located in the United States. Looking at these badges, we can confirm that this profile belongs to someone with IT skills. We can also find the link to a cash app profile with the same name and handle. This service is available only in the United States and United Kingdom. This means that the target is currently located or has recently been living in any of these two countries. We have a link to the target's GitHub profile and their created repositories. This handle belongs to one of the authors of this search tool. We can find a GitHub repository for a tool with the same name. We can find the list of other GitHub profiles followed by this target. We found the link to another social media networking site where the same handle was used. 
there is a link on this page. Let's follow it. There are no posts here, but the target is following other profiles on this platform. Take a look at this name. Now, in the target's GitHub page, we can see that the target is following a GitHub account with the same name. This person has used the same profile image on GitHub and Infosic Exchange. When we performed a search for a handle in What's My Name app, we could see a number of links where the handle was used. It is possible that multiple people have used the same handle. Looking at the list of followers and analyzing the list of people the target has engaged with will help you identify only the profiles belonging to your target. You can also perform lookups with a phone number. Truecaller allows you to search for the registered owner of phone numbers. Knowing which country the number is registered in is beneficial in this search. I have already performed a search. It appears that this number is used by the Days Inn Hotel in Ontario, Canada. We can confirm this by looking at their website. Phone number search is another utility that you can use to find all the individuals using associated numbers. Spokio is another utility that you can use to perform a reverse phone lookup on individuals living in the United States. The tool will report the carrier the number is registered with, along with the name of the city it is registered in. Further details can be obtained by signing up for this tool. For individuals located in Australia, you can use this tool Person Lookup to perform searches based on a phone number. I hope you have a good idea now about how people can be investigated for open source intelligence. Here is a project idea for you. Pick a target. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!